Hey folks, Reviewing McReview Face coming back at you, and if you are looking on Amazon for a skunk repellent product, you have to watch this video. That's right, I'm dressed up in my best black and white fur today to talk to you about a furry little friend who's been visiting my place lately. I've got a blink camera out front, and the motion sensor late at night has been capturing this little guy. So here you see this waddly little adorable fella. That's right, that's a skunk. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, and he's been coming by my house and paying it a little bit of it, too much attention. I put the blink camera down beside the step and you can see he's been kind of burrowing his way underneath the step trying to make himself a cozy little hangout there. So we'd want to discourage that. I mean, he looks cute enough, but I don't need him hanging underneath my steps. So I went to Amazon, of course, that's what I do, and I started looking at different products. So there's things like these repellent granules that you're supposed to sprinkle around your property, or maybe you'd like to go with coyote urine, or if you don't feel like spending money on pee, there's the predator eye. Now the predator eye is supposed to simulate that flash that when a light flashes across the eye of a predator and they kind of glow red in the night, it's supposed to do that and scare away any sort of critters like raccoons and skunks. So yeah, it's simulating that thing when you're out late at night with a flashlight and you kind of flash it across the woods and you see the glow of the predator eye as it gets closer to you. Yeah, that kind of that idea. But I thought, well, wait a minute. Down in my junk area here, I've got a bunch of loose LEDs, including some red LEDs. So what if I just took some of these and hooked them up to, say, a coin battery? Would that do the same thing? Now, obviously, this doesn't have the motion sensor on it that some of the Predator Eye type products do. But I thought, is that really going to matter to the skunk? Is he going to really notice if it's on, off, on, off, or if it's just on? So I thought, well, let's try this out. We're just going to tape these LEDs directly onto the battery, the easiest setup possible for a DIY product, and uh, just kind of slap that outside and see if that convinces him that somebody's watching him. So I'm going to take this down the steps here. Now you can see there's been some gaps forming underneath my steps. I know, I got to take care of that. And here you see there's dirt that's been kicked out. So that gap there, somebody's obviously thought, huh, Maybe I can make a little home there. So kind of fill that in a little bit. So what I'm thinking is we'll just take these red glowing eyes and kind of place it near the entrance to this hole. Just make sure nobody's home there. All right, yeah, good. Last thing I wanted was a skunk face sticking out at me at that point. So we're gonna take these red glowing predator eyes and I thought, well, do I wanna put it into the hole? Well, that's a little bit low. So maybe we'll just put it beside like the predator's just waiting beside the entrance for a tasty snack. So uh, we'll come back later tonight, see how those look. And yeah, it's a little darker now. So we'll pop back outside and just see how our homemade DIY predator eyes are looking. And uh, it's really bright. It's a lot brighter than I thought it would be. Uh, on the camera, it really blares it together, but it, you really can see the two distinct red points. So here's Skunk. Whoa, no, do not like that. He saw, took one look at those glowing eyes and he vamoosed. So I thought that's the end of him, right? We've scared him away and he, uh, for about a week, nothing on the blink camera until suddenly this one came up early one morning. Sure enough, he's come back. And I thought, ah, oh, shoot, I guess he's learned that those glowing red dots aren't actually predator eyes. I'm going to have to try and find a new product. But lo and behold, the battery's dead. That's right. The LEDs had drained what was left out of that coin battery. And so he... To his mind, the red glowing predator eyes had left and it was safe to come exploring again. So I've gone ahead and replaced that battery, put it back down there, and uh, sure enough, the skunk has not been back since. Now I am going to be filling in that gap underneath the steps so that, you know, we'll take away the attraction and then he won't be back again. But if you are looking for a way to encourage a skunk or other such little critter to continue on their way and not hang around your house, you could spend $30 on a predator eye, or you could spend good money on wolf urine, or you could try a whole bunch of different crystals and things sprinkled around your property, or you could take a couple of loose LEDs, put them on a coin battery, and see if maybe for you too, a pair of glowing red predator eyes 
we'll get that varmint to Vamoose. But hey, I'm not trying to sell you anything. Actually, to the contrary this time, I'm encouraging you to DIY yourself away from an Amazon purchase. I'm Reviewy Mick Review Face. Coming up smelling like roses, make sure you smash that like button and make sure you smash that subscribe button. Lisa, that's for you. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next review.